Welcome to the Creative Hudson. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a 90s rave poster in Affinity Photo. Rave posters of the 90s were very unconventional. They were created to promote rave parties, which were usually held at warehouses, clubs, or other venues. Some characteristics of these rave posters are aggressive and bold fonts, distorted graphics, abstract or geometric shapes, gradients, and contrasting colors. Another thing that a lot of the rave posters contained was the smiley face. These are some of the elements we'll be using for this rave poster design. First, go to File New. Go to Print and select the A4 document. Change the document units to inches. Then, set the DPI to 300. Turn on Snapping in the Toolbar. Next, grab the Ellipse tool from the Tools panel. Press Ctrl and Shift and draw an ellipse in the center of the document. I made the ellipse 6 inches by 6 inches. Go to the swatches panel. Double click on the fill color to bring up the color chooser. Enter the following hex code number for the ellipse. EEF60E. Now grab the artistic text tool. Click in the circle and type the word live. Next, press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the text below the original one. Type the word more. It actually doesn't matter what you type here because the text layers are going to be distorted. Grab the Move tool. Select both of the text layers. Go to the Font family and select the font for the text. I'm using Consolas Bold. You can find a download link to this in the description of the video. Go to the Swatches panel and set the color of the text layer to white. Press Ctrl and Shift, then drag a copy of the text layer beneath the original one. Now, press Ctrl and J three times or until the text reaches the bottom of the ellipse. Next, select a copy of the two text layers. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy onto the left side of the text. Then, do the same thing and drag a copy of the text layer onto the right side. We're going to repeat this step until the ellipse is covered with the text. Resize the text if you need to. I'm going to speed up this part here. After that, select all of the text layers. Next, go to the Boolean Operation panel and click Add. With the layers still selected, go to the Swatches panel and set the color back to white. Right-click on this layer in the Layers panel and click Rasterize to convert the Curves layer to a Pixel layer. In the Swatches panel, set the Fill color to black. Grab the Flood Fill tool from the Tools panel. Make sure no layers are selected in the Layers panel. Now, take the Flood Fill tool and click on the document. A new pixel layer will be created and it should be filled with black. Drag this layer to the bottom. Turn the Ellipse layer off. Now, select the pixel layer with the text. Click on the Liquify Persona. We're now going to warp the text. Select the Liquify Push Forward tool. This tool shifts pixels towards the direction of the stroke. Take the tool and start moving the text around. Feel free to make the effect as trippy as you want. Once you've done that, click Apply. You'll be returned back to the Photo Persona. Grab the Move tool. With this layer still selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer. In the Layers panel, turn both of these layers off. Now, turn the Ellipse layer back on. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Select the duplicated ellipse, the one on the top, and make it slightly smaller. Then, select the original ellipse. Resize it, making it smaller, and place the ellipse the way you see them on the screen. Set the color of the original ellipse to the following hex code, CED7BC. Turn the two warped pixel layers back on. Select the first one and drag it inside of the yellow ellipse. 
Next, select the other warped layer and drag it inside of the other ellipse. Resize and rearrange the warped layers so that they cover the inside of the ellipses. Right click on each of the ellipses and select Rasterize. Now grab the ellipse tool from the tools panel. Draw a small ellipse that's about 0.2 inches by 0.2 inches. Set the color to white. Place the ellipse in the top left corner of the poster. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the ellipse next to the original one. Then with the duplicated ellipse selected, press Ctrl and J two times to make two more duplicates of the ellipse. Select the four ellipses. Next, press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the ellipses below the original ones. Then with the ellipses still selected, press Ctrl and J two more times to make two additional rows of ellipses. There should be a total of 16 ellipses. Select all the ellipses and press Ctrl and G to group them together. Or right click on them and select Group. After that, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the group and place the duplicate in the bottom right corner of the poster. Now let's add some color to the background. In the Layers panel, select the Black Field Pixel Layer. Grab the Gradient tool from the Tools panel. Press Shift, then take the tool and click on the left side in the middle and drag the gradient to the right side. Click the white color stop. Go to the Swatches panel and double click on the fill color. Enter the following hex code, 6FFF98. Now click on the gradient line to add another point. With the color chooser still open, enter the following color code, FF6FEE. After that, click on the middle part of the gradient to add another point. Enter this color code, 6F8AFF. Next, click and add a point between the point we just added in the middle and the black point on the right. Then enter the following hex code, FF6F6F. Once you've done that, click the black color stop and enter this hex code number, 6FFFF4. Go to the context toolbar and set the type to radial. Then arrange the gradient tool the way you see it on the screen, or you can set it to your own liking. After that, go to the Liquify Persona. Select the Liquify Push Forward tool and start moving the gradient colors around. You want to warp the colors so that they start to blend into each other. You can warp this however much or little you want. Click Apply when you're finished. Click the Gradient Background layer in the Layers panel. Now grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel. Get rid of the Fill color. Select the Stroke color and set it to the following hex code number, 6FFF98. Go to the Stroke panel and set the Stroke width to 5 points. Then dry Rectangle. I made the Rectangle 7 inches by 5 inches. Place it where you see it on the screen and make sure it's behind the two big ellipses. Now let's add some text to this poster. Grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and click in the top right area of the poster. Type the word 1 in all caps. Select the text. Then go to the font family and set the text to the punk kid font you downloaded. Or you can use any kind of distressed or rave looking font. Set the color of the text to white. With the text layer still selected, press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the text to the bottom left part of the poster. Select the text and type SIDED in all caps, or you can type whatever you want to put on the poster. Grab the Artistic Text tool again. Go to the font family and set the font to Consolas Regular. Take the tool and click on the document. Type the word SMILE in all caps. Select the text. Then go to the Swatches panel and set the color of the text to the following hex code number, EDEC08. Take the Move tool and rotate the text 90 degrees. Then place the text where you see it on the screen. With the text still selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the text. Press Shift and drag the duplicated text layer to the right side of the poster. 
Then take the move tool and rotate the text layer negative 90 degrees. Feel free to distort this text here as well. Select the green stroked rectangle. Click the mask layer icon in the layers panel to add a mask to the rectangle layer. We want to get rid of part of the rectangle that goes through the smile text. Grab the paint burst tool from the tools panel. Set the fill color to black. Now go to the brushes panel and select one of the round light brushes. In the context toolbar, lower the opacity to 30%. Make sure the mask layer is selected. Take the brush and remove the rectangle part that's by the text. Now grab the artistic text tool again. Click in the rectangle in the top left corner. Type the letter R in caps. Set the color of the text to white. With the text layer still selected, press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the letter onto the right side. Type the letter A in caps. Select the R text layer. Then press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the text down to the bottom left corner of the rectangle. Type the letter V. After that, press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the V text layer over to the bottom right corner of the rectangle. Type the letter E. Next, go to the File menu and click Open. Select the image of the man you downloaded. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and select the man. Press the right bracket key to increase the brush size and press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. Don't include the man's head in the selection. Make this selection from his neck down to his feet. After making the selection, press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the selection onto a new layer. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Now copy the new layer and paste it onto the poster. Resize the man and place him where you see him on the screen. Press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the man. Now click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the black and white adjustment. Drag this layer into the man layer. Increase the yellow, green, cyan, and blue. I set the yellow to 125%, green to 128%, cyan to 200%, and the blue to 150%. Lower the opacity to 60%. Now click the Adjustments icon again. This time select the Curves Adjustment. Drag the adjustment inside of the Man layer. Click and add a point slightly above the point on the left and drag it up some. Next, add a point further up the curve and drag it up. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Next, go to File Open. Select the smiley face image and drag it onto the poster. Resize the smiley face and place it on top of the man's neck area in place of his head. Once you've done that, grab the ellipse tool from the tools panel. In the swatches panel, get rid of the fill color. Select the stroke and set the color to the following hex code, 6FFF98. Then draw an ellipse. Rotate the ellipse negative 135 degrees. With the ellipse still selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the ellipse. Then rotate the duplicated ellipse negative 30 degrees and arrange it the way you see it on the screen. Select both ellipses. Press Ctrl and G to group them together. Now select all the layers in the Layers panel. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E to merge the layers together. Or right click on the selected layers and click Merge Visible. Select the Merge layer. Go to the Filters menu. Then select Noise, Add Noise. Set the intensity to 40%. Select Uniform and uncheck the monochromatic box. Next, go to the link of the plastic textures. Click Download. Go to the Download a file and extract it. Then choose the plastic texture you want to use and drag it onto the poster. I chose the number two plastic texture. Place the texture on top of everything. Then change the blend mode to reflect and lower the opacity to 50%. Other blend modes you could use are subtract, difference, soft light, overlay, 
and with add you'd have to lower the opacity quite a bit. Color dodge, lighten, and multiply. With multiply you'd also have to lower the opacity a lot. And this is how to create a 90s rave poster in the finished photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.